All right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, and today we about to slap up some people in PvP using Drax. All right, so I know a lot of you guys aren't necessarily the biggest fan of Drax, but trust me when I say this guy is actually a viable character now, and I've been testing him out, and the only character that he struggles to defeat is actually Dr. Doom. Everybody else is fair game. So we're testing him out in Challenger and Vibranium, and I want you guys to take a look at how he performs. I swapped him over from a CTP of Energy, and now he's rocking a CTP of Regeneration. And as you can see, Silver Surfer, one of the top metas, getting clapped up by Drax. Adam Warlock, though, is a different story because Adam Warlock has a type advantage over Drax, so it's very, very unlikely that we're gonna beat him on a balance of probability. I would say eight and a half, nine out of 10 times, Drax is gonna lose because of the type advantage. But, hey man, he's actually out here slapping up some of the metas and I wanna show you guys how he performs. So we're gonna start off with Silver Surfer and then we're gonna go through Sentry, Spider-Man, and a couple other characters as well. And I will tell you this, that Drax completely annihilates every Gilgamesh in sight, okay? I really, really hate that Drax doesn't prioritize his third skill though. It really gets on my nerves. I don't know why the dev still hasn't like done something about it. Like, come on, man. Like if he used his third skill more, he would have been so much better because he would be healing. Like all of his heal comes from his third skill. There you go, he finally used his third skill against Adam Warlock. So now he has a decent chance of staying in this fight a little bit longer, but Adam is just too, too strong, man. All right, let's see who else in Challenger is running Silver Surfer. Dr. Doom is always gonna counter him. Oh, this is actually a good matchup here. We get to see how he does against Silver Surfer and Spider-Man. Easy clap. All right, so Silver Surfer is trying to counter us. We easily clap him up. Spider-Man, can we pop the third skill on that Spider-Man? There we go. We're gonna get the heal, right? Yep, we get the heal. And then he gets his awakened skill and Spider-Man should go to sleep. There we go. And Hela has her artifact, so it should should be a little difficult for him, but he still gets her down. So shout out to Drax out here. All right, boys, running it back one more time. Silver Surfer versus Drax. Let's see how my guy does. Okay, so he's using his awakened skill against Silver Surfer. So this time he has to kill Spider-Man off the strength of his five and four, possibly his three as well. We'll see. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Hella, let's see how he deals with this. Let's see how he deals with the undead passive. He's tanking well. Okay. Good shit, good shit. So, I don't wanna hear nothing from none of you guys out here saying Drax is terrible because he's clearly not. He's out here slapping up some of the best PvP characters in the game. However, Dr. Doom is not going to be something that he can overcome. I would say that Dr. Doom's five, and um, I don't think he can overcome Emma Frost, but we'll try it. But Dr. Doom's five and four combo, the long iframes, it's just not working out well for him. Come on. Come on, Drex. Come on, Drex. You were so close, my guy. You were so close. You were so close. Yo, let's go! My boy Drax actually took out an Emma Frost. Let's go! Yo, he even took out Colossus. What? 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 No way he about to wipe this team, bro. He popped his awakened skills. Yo, say word! Yo! Drax out here in these streets, boys! Alright, boys. One more time. One more time. Let's see if my boy got it. Yo, pop, pop your third so you can start healing, my guy. Pop your third. She started healing. Pop your third so you can heal too, fam. He's not popping his third skill. Feels bad, man. Bro, look, look at him, bro. Look at Drax. Yo, look at Drax, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, Drax tanked Emma Frost face to freaking face and won. 
Yo, let's go, man. All right, one more time, boys. One more time. If only he used this third skill as much as Emma Frost used her third skill. Because he would actually do way better, fam. Yeah, he killed Emma Frost again, but he's going to die to Colossus here just off the reflect alone. Um, yeah, don't underestimate Drax, man. He'll surprise you guys. He really will. Let me back out and see what else we got up here in Vibranium. Sorry, not Vibranium, in uh, Challenger. Doom is going to be a no-go for him. Ooh, let's do this, boys. I want y'all to take a look at how he does against Gilgamesh. He doesn't even need startup time, boys. He can tank. Gilgamesh can't do no type of damage to him, bro. I promise you, he won't even go below 50% HP. Looking at how he performs against Gilgamesh, if you didn't buy Gilgamesh when he first came out, and you have no need for Athena, which you probably should get Athena because he's ABX meta and World Boss Legend meta against um, Ultron. But um, yeah, Gilgamesh can't kill him, bro. He won't even get down to 50% HP. Look at that. He tanked all of Gilgamesh's Awakened skill. Then he freaking bombed Gilgamesh HP super low. Like, look, look at these guys, bro. This is such a sick fight. It's like you're watching some Dragon Ball Z stuff where those two strong guys are just going at it. Look at these guys, bro. If only he used his third skill to stop Gilgamesh from protecting himself. But... Uh, Colossus, Colossus. Yo, he clapped up Colossus. He's like, listen, I'm tired of dying to reflect. He got tired of it, bro. He got tired of it. He's like, listen, if you go kill me, you're gonna have to kill me off your strength and not my strength. Look at this, boys. We're going up against challenger opponents with Drax. Okay? And he's out here getting the W's. That's what's up. <laughs> Yo, let's go, man. All right. Now, we do have to be selective in regards to who we fight, but listen, we just have to avoid that. You know what? Let me run that back one more time so y'all can see it's not a fluke. Gilgamesh can't do nothing to him, bro. He's pretty much the counter. You know how Gilgamesh counters Luke Cage? Well, he's the counter to Gilgamesh. And funny enough, Luke Cage will counter um, Drex. <laughs> it's a very interesting thing going on in the combat category right now where... If you put Gilgamesh up against Luke Cage, Luke Cage will lose. And if you put Gilgamesh up against um, Drax, then Gilgamesh will lose. But if you put Drax up against Luke Cage, both of them are using their awakening skill at the same time. It does. It's so funny because neither one of them do any damage to each other. And then as soon as Gilgamesh's skill is over, then Drax get back to uh, working him over. Yo, I don't have Drax's artifact, but if I did, Y'all already know what would happen. You already know. Because this is him just clapping up a Gilgamesh that has his artifact. Alright? Man, yo, Spider-Man about to get it. As soon as he comes out, he's gonna pop his awakened skill. Spider-Man erased! Let's go, bro. Alright, so I wanna see how Gilgamesh does with Cersei on the team because Cersei's gonna give him some more all attack. Drax is not a villain, so we're not going to take extra damage to super villains. So this should be interesting. He gets 30% more attack from having Cersei on the team. Can he kill Drax? And this is what? This is a... I believe a 5-star artifact on Gilgamesh. And he still just gets folded like a paper towel. That's crazy, bro. Man, backhanded Cersei. <laughs> yo ho ho yo ho 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 yo <laughs> oh man yo Cersei got backhanded and then backhanded again and then Spider-Man came out and got dusted okay I don't want to hear nobody sleeping on my boy Jack see out here in these Marvel future fight streets all right replay boys let's go Let's see if we can do it again. Tell a friend to tell a friend that I told you to tell a friend that Gilgamesh can't do nothing against Drax. Like, look at Drax's HP. It never dips below, like, I would say 80%. Oh, he taunted um, Cersei? No, he backhanded her. All right, cool. Bro, Drax just tanked that whole awakened skill like a demon. Spider-Man comes out, he about to get clapped up too. Send him to the Shadow Realm, Drax. Come on. You the guy, bro. Strongest combat character in the game for PvP? Quite possibly. 
Quite possibly. Quite possibly. I'm telling you, boys. Don't sleep on him. Look who we found, boys. I'm a professional. And he got Wolverine on his team. Let's go, boys. Let's see if Drax can kill all three of these guys. Now, Drax is starting off at a disadvantage because, as you can see, his skills were on cooldown and Sentry had access to all of his skills, but it's fine. Drax is pushing through it because he's a real demon. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Man's out here saying Drax ain't worth it. This is a Wolverine with his artifact, okay? It's a Wolverine with his artifact. Drax just tanked all of that noise, right? Look at that. Look at that. Trigger the undead artifact. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, he folded Wolverine. Wolverine didn't have a chance, bro. No chance. That's what you got. Even Spider-Man is doing more to Drax than Wolverine did, bro. I I'm convinced, bro. Drax is the best combat character in the game for PvP right now. <laughs> Convince me otherwise, boys. Convince me otherwise. Gilgamesh ain't got no chance. Wolverine ain't got no chance. Right? Y'all seen it here, boys. Anybody sleeping on Drax, they need to wake up, bro. The only reason he's taking so much damage at the start of the fight here is because his skills are on cooldown. But now, now, when the, when the playing field is leveled, Sentry dead. Okay, Wolverine come out, he not doing no type of damage. That's what's up. Even with your counter, you're not doing no type of damage. Wait until I get Drax's artifact, boys. Wait until I get Drax's artifact. He's going to be doing like 70% more damage. In case y'all don't know what it does. The more they hit him, the stronger he gets. The more attack he's getting. Bro, Drax actually out here as a demon. Spider-Man, you're going to sleep. If five seconds pass, I'm getting the awakened skill and you're going to sleep, boys. Oh, man. Ladies and gents, we're going to wrap the video here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about Drax? Okay. I'm saying he's the best combat character in the game for PvP. For PvP. For timeline battle right now. I'm saying he's better than Hulk. I'm saying he's better than Wolverine. I'm saying he's better than Gilgamesh. Because in a one-on-one -on -one fight, you seen it. They can't beat him. He doesn't even have an artifact yet. He does have a reforged mighty CTP of regeneration. And this is not even the best role, bro. We could get 90% regeneration rate and then uh, recovery rate, sorry. And then we could get 4% max HP on it. But hey, man, he's out here. We don't even have Odin's on him, bro. We could give him four more Odin's blessings. I don't know why I would do that because I already have, well, I guess. Yeah, I guess I should. I don't really need the crit damage that much. I could give him more HP just to be toxic. Yo, if you guys are sleeping on Drax, hope this video helps you guys because he's actually amazing for timeline battle right now. If you want to run something different, you could just drop him on your team as an extra in place of Gilgamesh. Because you can see he folds up Gilgamesh. And if you do get his artifact, whether luckily or unluckily, um, this is what his artifact does. Whenever he gets hit, as you can see there, he keeps stacking his attack all the way up to 70% for 12 seconds. So if he's already killing them now without the artifact, a chance to get 70% more attack, they're going to die even faster, bro. Because I know you guys are seeing the all, all attack increase by 5% there, but it stacks all the way up to 70%, okay? So it's not just 5%. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up here. Thank you so much for watching. If I get Drax's artifact, you can bet your ass I'm doing another PvP video on him. But for now, drop a like for the boy Drax, man. He's actually out here from the bottom of the game to now being toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Well, actually, he's above them, kind of, sort of. Yo, yo, let me know. Maybe I'm biased, you know. Let me know in the comments. Is Drax better than Gilgamesh and Wolverine for PvP right now? I'm gone. Peace.